Are you also facing 0x7000b uh, error in your every of your application? Um, well, if you're facing that, you came just to the right place. I know, well, I have re-uploaded this video. Well, not a re-upload of that same video. Um, why the problem is that, that you guys are complaining that you're having that error and that particular error is not getting sold up. So I thought, why not have a research around? I gone through a lot of places in internet. I gone through a lot of things. I just transplanted all those things in my own computer. I just tried to do a lot of things. Well, after doing all those the, all those uh, stuff, I finally came up to a solution. Um, now that error generally comes up uh, due to some missing or corrupted DLLs in your computers, in your computer, whatever it is. Um, just. Oh, that whatever satisfies you. Okay, all right, that's back. Okay, so we're gonna be back out here, and what we're gonna be doing is that I'm gonna be telling you how you can do that. So before doing all this, make sure to check this video out. Might be showing up in the cards by now. It's the previous video that I generally released on to fixing that error. And if it's not getting solved with that video, you need to come back here. You need to have to check on it. And in here, we're gonna be fixing it all. So also that given below in description that video, you can check it out too. So let's get started. Just simply, I'm just saying so all the time. Um, so we're having this uh, RAR file, commonly used DLLs. Um, it's also given a given below in the description. Just download it out and extract it. You can go to properties and unblock the file, just in case if it's blocking yours. You need to extract it. Now, once the file's extracted, you need to open it up and go inside it. Go inside this. Control X. I'm gonna be coming it out so that we don't have any path problems. Those path names are really, really big. Um, go to your local disk C or wherever you have installed your operating system. You need to go to Windows. And if you're having a 32 bit operating system, you need to go to System32 and replace all the files that are existing inside of system 30. just paste them and replace them it's going to be asking like this you need to provide as an administrator permission also make sure that you're logged in as administrator just continue i'm going to be canceling because i already have replaced them now coming back if you're having 64-bit operating system you need to replace all these files into system 32 then if you're having 64-bit go to system was sys ww 64 go out there this file this folder won't be existing in 32-bit operating systems so don't get confused in that just copy all these files paste them right around here replace and allow the uh, files to get replaced in system 32 or system 64. Now close all this. Once you've done that, also make sure that you clear your temporary memory. Just go and price t, uh, percent, temp percent, and delete all this, it's not needed. Once you have done that, make sure that you restart your computer and then try to open up the application that you're trying to do. Um, for example, Epic Games Launcher, just right click onto it. Make sure that you are running is add an, as an administrator and just click OK. And once you do that, your problems are going to be solved up, all things could be gone and if you're still facing that problem then make sure that you comment down below whatever problem you're facing and whatever problem that you're getting and also make sure to like and subscribe this video, make sure that you leave this video a big thumbs up also make sure to hit that bell icon so that you join the notification squad that would be it for today I'm Sora Singh from Frosty Tech, signing out